so good evening and welcome everyone to another EU2 race here at Austria this week it's the what is it seventh race of the season I think uh, yeah I would uh, I would agree with you there I think it's yeah seven. I think it is uh, and I have blades as my co-commentator today um, I think I've uh, I'm halfway to uh, commentating on every tier so I think I'll probably take off a U3 at some point. Okay. Wait, you have done every other tier, or? No, I've I've done. I haven't done a U4 because I race in it, but. Uh, yeah. I've done every other tier that I can, at the minute. Yeah, so not the American tiers, I guess. Might end up getting the American tiers at some point. Yeah. I think With I don't need sleep pattern. <laughs> I'd only stay. Yeah, my sleep pattern isn't too good either but I think I'd only uh, stay up to race not to commentate don't want to wake up my parents in the middle of the night though so we have a uh, car on track I believe yeah first car That's on track is in Red Bull I think it's Spud, it's Spud. As and then usual. I think Dan's behind him yeah yeah so Spud usually the first one to go out on track yeah, I've noticed that from uh, watching EU2. He uh, he likes to go out early and get just get a lap on the board. Yeah. Also, they do wait pretty long to get out on track. It's what quali has been going on for like three minutes now. Yeah, we are three minutes well, roughly into the session. Yeah. Obviously, the uh, the glitch that happens. Oh, so there's a glitch in quali too, or? It's just the time, like, I don't know if it's been fixed, but okay, the timing, knew. we're usually a little bit ahead, so... Uh, I never knew that. Our, our clock will say 15 minutes, and the driver will say maybe 15, 45, oh, okay. 15, maybe 16 minutes, so... I spot started his lap. There he goes, goes on to first corner, does he invalidate? No, but he does run wide. Yeah, just manages to uh, keep it from invalidating there. Yeah, I've seen. Not a sure lot what the stewards will think of that. But, I've uh, seen a lot of people do that actually at the last uh, the last couple of races here at Austria. Like people running wide there and not getting penalised for it. Yeah, you can get away with it as long as you you can sort of keep the throttle pinned as long yeah. as you wait exactly to come that. back on the track. Exactly that, indeed. Spurt it doesn't now. gain you time, but you don't lose any time either. Yeah. So. As he rounds up the second sector, and he, he doesn't invalidate here, so maybe last corner, but you shouldn't. You should be good now. Coming around the last two corners, and he invalidates. Well, I think he might go again if he hasn't invalidated both laps. No, he has. So. Yeah, he has. It's gonna be he done, does have maybe. enough fuel, though. As he runs wide again, that's almost into the barrier, wow. As the others who were out on track also probably invalidated and didn't settle that because I've oh, seen the a Haas spinner. And Williams. The Come spinner is Sonny line. Bob into the pits. Oh, we have a spinner into the pits. Let's see that as Connell actually set the fastest lap with a 104 flat and then Hasmania goes second with a 4.7. Team 1 has taken that second place away with a 4.1 on the medium tires. Sonny Bob actually no front wing left. Postman next also on the mediums of 4 flat. That's uh, some huge pace compared to yesterday and the day before. Jay Prentice, 5th yeah, well, with a 4.08. Yeah, what, what were you going to say? I know these first laps will, well, the top two have beaten the EU4 pole time, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm not too sure of the EU3 pole time. I think it was maybe a 3.8. Yeah, somewhere in the three, I, only the top six were in the 1.3 seconds, because I was six and I was the only one 3.9. All the rest behind me were at a 1.4 something. Um. Next to the line we'll have, is that, that's a Alpine actually, not... It might be Kelster's, it is going to be Kelster's bug. Okay, it is. Seems to be struggling a little bit. 
through Sector 2. Uh, Possibly the high down, oh, the low down force setup, sorry. Yeah, probably Boseman's so, Alfa Romeo letting people pass in the third sector. Then we have, I think that's a spinner from a McLaren. Kelsey's back goes six fastest. No, Which that is Jay Prentice just putting, letting yes, people go. Oh, he lets people go. Unless he's got no front wing, no, he's, I think he's fine. No, he's just letting people he, uh, through. Yeah. He doesn't want to block anyone on the pit entry. Oh, as he's we not have, coming into the pits. We have Hasmania yeah. who retired. Yeah, that is coming out of turn four, I believe. Maybe yeah, just uh, on the power too early. I can't see it actually. Also, I'm seeing two Alpha Tauris run drive around on track, but there's only one in my list. Oh no, Kelsey's back there. Okay, I know. That makes a lot of sense now. Uh, Kelsey's back did just go past his teammate's accident, and uh, as I suspected, just got on the power too early. Wise boy, then, then on the mediums, the next one to. Set a lap who hasn't settled up yet. Down into six gear now, going round the final corner into fourth. We do not invalidate, he didn't, so he's gonna set a lap. And it will be a 104 9. Puts him up to eight plays on his mediums. Rosai ninth. He's uh, usually usually a lot further up the field. Than where he is across now. the line. He's got a, I think that is the McLaren. And oh, he loses it, and, and that that's is... the end of his qualifying. Both tires yeah. off his car. That stricken Red Bull on the exit of Turn One. It's a shame for Spud. Yeah, I, I saw we him know already. He's got some pace, but. Uh... Yeah, I saw him already losing the back end before he hit the second curb, and then he just hits the curb, probably snaps the car into the other, and sends it into the wall. It's a tough corner to get right. Yeah, either I'd say either invalidate or you either invalidate. You hit the curb too hard. You get yeah. the power too early. Yeah, can't get a good exit. Back end steps out, Sonny Bob goes into fourth with 1043. Into the penultimate corner. Down the hill for the Williams. Bob's up the DRS. So the first lap of the session, which is a 105. So Mercedes, Mercedes here, wide, that's Sonny Bob past. here. Sonny Bob who just set a lap, just letting people pass, mowing some grass over there. Oh, he's in the perfect car to do it. That's true. Valtteri is infamous team radio last year. I think it was last year. Was it last year or was it the year before? It might have been, might have been the year before. I think it was the 2019, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, don't. The Mercedes is a better lot more that. than my one at home. Yep. I can imagine it is, probably very sharp, yeah, yeah. that front wing. Going so into the wing. On uh, Jamie, I and believe, he coming around to set a lap time. He does improve, seventh. One, four, or seven. So I think this is Jamie's lap. Clatters the curb at turn one. Yeah, on the inside. Gets it into the pits. Yeah, I think this is definitely Jamie's flying lap. Jamie's flying lap. Yeah, we'll uh, we're looking at him right now. Taking it up to turn four. I think it is. is. And gets it done and as Ragnar joins the session by the looks of it. There's a Ferrari letting another McLaren go by on an out lap. The Williams behind as well, I think that might be Dan. Yep, probably because Matty Robo, I don't know where he is on track exactly. 
Oh, that might be Matt Irobo because he just said a lap. It is Matt. Dan's yeah. just, uh, yeah, crossed the line. There comes Jamie. Is he going to improve? Puts it up to Paul with a 103.6, the first one to get into the 103s. And that, I believe, is the fastest lap of the week so far. So far, we have EU1 still to go tomorrow, and these guys are aliens. Let me tell you that. As we have someone off track, actually, at the... near the end of the circuit. Who's that? That appeared to be Matty Robo. Don't know what happened. Could be letting people through. As Postman starting his lap. Jay Prentice yeah, I think, on a lap. I think Matt was just letting people through. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he seemed to be at the end of his lap. Didn't want to uh, get Damn. in anyone's way of the apex of the penultimate corner. Dan Robo so. puts it up into fourth. I think that'll be his last lap on this medium run. Yeah, Jay Prentice is now running low. Gun round final corner. He does not invalidate. Opens up the DRS 7 gear. There we go. Does he improve? No, he does not improve. He stays in sixth with 104.5. Seen a Haas I think vapor Dan, team. He was invalidated. I think there's going to be yellow flags in a lot of places because I think Dan Robbo's run out of fuel. Uh, possibly. I think so too. Yeah, he's definitely the yellow flag out of fuel. following him. Yeah. As we do have Racer in his LP now coming around to final sector. Does, doesn't even touch the curb on the last corner and sets a 104.2 which puts him up into sixth. Uh, Tiago just Rather started as well, his jumped up there. Boseman not to is he improving. He did not. Boseman doesn't improve. 15 seconds slower than his previous lap. Raza snuck his way up to P5 there. Very well done. That's more what we used to see about of him. Tiago uh, taking turn three, not invalidated at turn one. Just. DRS and down the straight. Breaks at about the 100 meter board by the looks of it. And now going down. Back to the lowest point of the circuit, which is the start finish straight. There we go, coming around these tricky corners. Can send you spinning very easily. Tiago now finishing his lap. He seems to be on the mediums. There he goes. Hasn't invalidated. Sets a lap, which puts him up into ninth with a 104.5. We've got Connell on his flying lap to contest Jamie into the hairpin at turn three. Accelerates out. He's got a has to contend with him. Moves out the way. Let's go on board for the rest of this lap. Let's see how he takes this second and third sector. Takes it. Slightly downhill. And then rising up again towards the penultimate corner. Managed to keep it on the track so far meets the apex gets a little bit slidey on the entry and again so you that's validate. an invalidation yeah you just As saw in it in the meantime Jayzak put it up into third so uh i believe that's going to be connell's last run unless we have a, a glitch which is possible you never know with uh codemasters really but uh that's true Got Rosa on his outlap, looking to improve to get in the 103s. Jamie actually going on another lap, I don't know why. Might might want to improve, but he has invalidated his one for now. Maybe he wants to just lock it down. Or is he coming in? I think he's coming in, yeah. Connell who invalidated this lap too. That's not going to be too good. But the only one who hasn't set a time 
has retired. So the top two seem to be struggling. And it looks like they're both going to get another chance. That's Matty Robo sending another lap on the mediums. Has set one on the softs. Maybe he wants to start on the mediums. See if he can put a faster one in on these mediums. There he goes. Not a bad strategy. Uh, we get Jamie Definitely going. not. But, but he does not improve. So he might have... No, he won't have to start on the softs. He's outside the top 10, so... Sonny Bob puts it into second with a 139. Second one into the 103s. Looks to me as if Matt is uh, going again. Well, he's going. Certainly forward. has his DRS on. And he's burning ARS, so. He doesn't look to be slowing down anything, so. Seems like he is going for another one. As we do have some cars ahead of him who are also finishing their lap, which is Rosa taking around the bend. There we go. Last oh, two Oh, and there corners. goes Matty. Unfortunate. And he won't have time to set another lap unless he gets it. Has Rosa invalidated? That's not going to do him any good. He invalidated. His next lap is invalidated too, so he won't have time to said another one i think matt's got enough fuel but i don't think he'll be wanting to start on those tires yeah he's coming think he's in he's going so. to try it no he he won't that could very well be the end of matt he's qualified we still have guys in the pits which Bosman is interesting Bosman invalidated his final lap so he will be probably starting in fifth if he doesn't get overtaken i Thiago think uh, on the soft lap now he's had enough of the mediums we, uh, we're quite a bit behind of oh. these guys, so because Dan has just come out of the pits, so you would assume that he he's going to be able to set a flying lap. True. A lot of people are on their out lap now, so we might be a a long way ahead. Well, that explains why the finish has been called on the game, but I still see people setting flying laps after that so turns out to be that glitch as Tiago invalidated in the second to last corner he does get to go again so not an issue there this will be his last chance probably and he invalidates it on the exit of turn one so we do have a lot of people now starting their final laps Can we look at who will be next? Jamie seems to be on another lap. He has invalidated. Connell hasn't done that yet. Jayshak has invalidated too. Might look to set another one. And the game will let him do so. Let's see if he can improve Jamie's lap. Jamie was also trying to send another one. Let's see. Does he invalidate them? He hasn't. Let's see if this Ferrari can put it up to pole. Takes it around the slowest corner on this track. I think that is turn three. Um, eight gear, nine straight. DRS open. Burning ERS. And now we go downhill into the second sector runs a lot of curb almost invalidated by the looks of it taking it very tight right there there we go and then his second sector Jamie Wan is also looking to improve on his lap trying to keep that pole position in his hands does improve only by one ten. Jayzak puts it up into second, three tens behind. And I think the others are in the pit, so we are done. We should be done here. Yeah, we are done. We are done with qualifying from the Red Bull then. Yeah. So briefly go. joined by Sebastian Vettel, Lance Stroll, and Kimi Raikkonen. 
Got a lot of code masters. I also want to have a little taste of what Contest of Speed is like. As then, here's your rundown of the grid. It's Jamie on his own pole in his McLaren. Jaysack in second. Sonny Bob gets third. Connell Ford, 50 for both men. Dan Robo gets six. Rosa in seventh. Racer, eight. Wisey Boy, ninth. Tenth for Jay Prentice. Eleven goes to Tiago. Twelfth for Hasmania. Vapor King in. 13th, 14th from Matty Robo, Kelsey Swag 15th, Jammy James 16th, and Spud in 17th. That will be your grid for now. I'm looking to see, uh, looking forward to see the strategies that will be used. I don't think the hearts are good, but we m maybe someone will try it. Yeah, I, I don't think the herds are a very good race tyre. Yeah, in general on this guy. Yeah, true, but maybe some tracks you might want to use them, or might, it might not be as bad to use yeah, them. Yeah, someone. You know, maybe, someone maybe, might try it. Maybe Monaco, who knows? Maybe that's a track to try the herds. Maybe. Well, uh, our very own Cos Wizard did a full race on my herds last season. So. Okay. Wow. Without betting as well, so I don't think I'll get lucky uh, with the I don't think I'll do <laughs> that, in the game. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I would do that, but uh I mean if it worked for him then sure. I think he finished fifth in the end, but oh, that's not I might a bad have to fact check that one. Still, 50 is the bad result. I'll take anywhere in the points, especially at Monaco. Tends to be uh, if, if if you finish, you get points. Most yeah, of the time. I uh, I could imagine so. Just damage limitations, survive till the end of the race, and points might be awarded. Just uh, peek at tyre selection. Yeah, nobody on the heart is nobody expected. Nobody on the heart. <laughs> Could still change if someone gets damaged at the start of the race, but I doubt they will. Um, yeah, only softs and mediums as we're on our formation lap. The guys now warming up their tyres to go for a 60... T what am I saying? A 36 lap race. Around the Red Bull ring. Some guys on the soft, some guys on the mediums. That seems appears to be that Bosman and Dan Robo managed to qualify on the mediums inside the top ten. I, yeah, uh, I was confused as to why Dan backed out of his last lap because he was up. Didn't realise he uh, he'd set his first lap on the mediums. So. Mhm. Mm uh, I, don't a a bad, I don't think that's a bad. I don't think that's a bad strategy yeah. call. I mean, if if there's no safety cars and you can make a one stop work, that might actually be a winning strategy. I think we're gonna see a one stop from most of these guys. Yeah, I, it's definitely possible. You just might struggle with some tire wear near the end of the race, depending on who. Well. I'm sure he won't mind me saying this, but uh, I know for a fact Dan likes to, uh, well, Dan struggles with his rear tyres in terms of wear. That's Dan, uh, Dan just Robo a tendency, or? so. Yeah, Dan Robbo tends okay. to uh, struggle with his rear tyres, so. Could be yeah, a problem. I, I have no clue how to work with tyre wear. Neither do I, neither do I know how to save fuel, so. Maybe the reason why I ran out of fuel on Monday. And as we have our five red lights are on, but there we go. Oh, Neither of them are building. We go. And we're off at Austria. Well, that 
doesn't look like a good start for Jamie. He already has a Mercedes up his outside, but he can't make the move. Two Ferraris fighting for position. Nothing changes there. We have some position changes near the back, but we do have this Ferrari on the Mercedes. Diving it down the inside. Yes, he's going to go for it. We go side by side, and he should have the position. The Mercedes still fighting for it. No, yeah, there he goes. He slots in behind. He might try it into turn four. Yes, it does around the outside. Lock they bang each other and there he goes. It's <laughs> good racing from the two. Just giving each other enough Definitely space to work as with. see Williams trying to go up the inside there. I don't think that's where you want to do it, but if you fancy it, then go for it. I think it might have been a defensive move from uh, down rather than anything in attack. That's definitely also a possibility, but he has lost out two positions to Rosa and Razor. Boseman on his medium tire is still in fifth. He hasn't lost out, but he does have Rosa and Razor on the softs behind him who do want to get past. But when the DRS hits on lap 3, we might see it much harder for these softs to overtake these medium runners when they have DRS, ERS and the slipstream of the guys on softs behind as Jammy James already into the pits, he must have damage. Ooh, Connell gets sideways out of the third corner and that's going to allow the Mercedes of Sonny Bob back through. Yes, it is as gets very close on the braking. Dan Robin Wisey Boy still fighting second lap as they touch and they almost spin. Looks like it unsettled the car. That invites Jay Prentice into the fight. He wants to get past, but he couldn't do it. But he's so close to the back of that Alpine. He might try it. Oh, I saw someone Dan go very was, wide there. Dan got massively sideways. That's not what you want and to do. And it's going to drop him off the back of Lewis. And now we have Jay Prentice with Hasmania. Hasmania and Faber King going side by side into the last corner. And Faber King gets the position that they're still going side by side. Into turn one and he gets it and the braking. There we go. A Haas up into P11. Doesn't get a good exit. That's Hasmania back into P11. They're going side by side by the looks of it. Yes, they are. Side by side into turn three. Up Wisey the hill. Boy braking. Sends the dive bomb into turn three on Dan. That was a As we still have late the breaking. And Alphatari banging wheels going side by side for the third DRS straight. Haas has the slipstream, so he does get ahead, but Hasmania does stick his nose up the inside. We're still going side by side with these two. And Hasmania has to give up the position in this sector of the race. It's the, it's the other Alphatari making a move on Tiago. Oh, and that's Dan earning out. Dan Robo out. I think that. See where that happened. That might be okay. It's a VSC. I don't oh, think it, it turned into anything us. more. Just happened. Uh, he got, he got on the curb and he. Uh, Tiago goes into the pits. The only down. one to do so. It's only a VSC, so won't see much happening. Let's see if we can catch anybody getting some overtaking done when the VSC goes away. And Dan Robo is your first DNF of the night. What racer coming up fast near the back of Rosa. There we go, we're racing again. Jamie has a three second gap almost to the cars behind. That's Yeah, good job. Keep it up I'd say. Some big points for McLaren. Again, this man was also flying at Canada in the wet. I don't know how he did it, but I'm sh I'm definitely happy with 25 points. No bias in this commentary box at all. Yeah, definitely not bias. Just supporting my own team, you know. As we have someone, yeah. oh, that's Wisey oh, Boy. Oh yeah, that is Wisey Boy. I yeah. said it in qualifying. Just saw him spinning off ahead of Spurs. Yeah. I said it in qualifying, these are some tricky corners. You touch the curb and they could send you off. Not, they won't always do so, but the chances are there. As we just saw Spud getting up into P10. And that's another spin for Wisey Boy, yeah. And he can't come into the pits, of course. He has to keep going, even if he's got damage. And he does, so fair enough. 
Postman's really close on the back of Connell. He does want to get past, but Connell has the DRS and the slipstream of the Mercedes ahead. He doesn't actually have DRS, so maybe he doesn't have the pace to overtake or he doesn't want to overtake as J Princess and Vapor King are fighting for each other. They went side by side into turn four, but Vapor King gets the position. Yeah, and it seems Vapor King hasn't bought his ticket to the DRS train. No, he Just will have to catch. Of these, uh, will have to catch up sets. almost four seconds, three and a half seconds, to get that done. So this means there, this is a new DRS train. Only three cars actually. Just J J Print is running wide there. Must have gotten a warning for that. Connell actually send it up the inside of Connell at the overtake has happened before the braking zone if I'm not wrong and he will be looking to get past Sonny Bob is this where the mediums are starting to get faster than the softs five laps old very light into turn three Sonny Bob Jay Print is going side, side by side it. with Vapor King as, and he runs wide and now oh. loses out almost two positions doesn't have DRS so he will lose out to the Red Bull of Spud no he doesn't he defends pushes Spud to the inside but goes to the outside side by side into the corner spurt onto the grass and he has to give up that position both man got in front of sunny bob sunny bob picks up a three second time they're still sunny going Bob's side still by side there. that's not yeah. that's not where you want to go side by side definitely not well, i think and if sunny bob gets wanted done, to get that warning taken off i think he could because uh he might have been pushed wasn't given by much that's room true. at the end of the trip at the edge of the trip yeah, yeah. He's going to come back at both of He definitely is. Postman does have the DRS now and he gets it done. Just gets it in front. Doesn't yeah, going to come. And Spud there. He wants to get past that McLaren. He sends it over the inside of turn one. He get, does get a three second time penalty. Both on the DRS. J Print is on the softer tyre, but the mediums might be faster at this point. We will see Spud diving it up the inside and he does get that position done. As there's Sonny Bob and Boseman are still fighting, we're going side by side around turn four. This allows Jamie to actually pull away, but he's not doing so. He's losing time to Boseman, even though they're fighting. So I think the crossover may be close. Definitely Tunnel as we see uh, Manny Robo there, here in an Alpha Tari sandwich by the looks of it. There we go. Just got overtaken by Kelsey Zwag. Does have Hasmania looking to get past too, but the mediums are mediums seem to be faster than the soft by now. Tiago who went on the hards during the VSC. And is now at the backs together with Jammy James and Wisey Boy. Vapor and Spurt gets past Vapor now into turn one around the outside. Well done. Postman now lose out to Sonny Bob. Yeah, certainly staying hot. There he goes. Postman decides to take the outside. I think he's going to be ahead before the braking zone he is. And there we go. Not a lot of to switching positions. Until the DRS kicks in again, and then we might see Sonny Boy. Sonny Bob getting ahead again. Vapor King definitely not get it, giving up, staying within two tenths of Spud. Might want to use the DRS to get back ahead if he can do so. Let's go back up to the front, see if Sonny Bob can make this work. I think the Gap Postman pool is big enough. Also, Sonny Bob not having any ERS left this early in the race. I I think he should be saving your ERS. No, he's gonna cut that Postman up the hill. He's gonna try into send. the braking zone. Definitely sends it up the inside. He does get it, but he does not have any ERS. So how is he gonna defend against Postman who has the DRS and has more ERS than he does? It's pretty Just hard to do so. Slots back in, in behind. Vapor King and Spud. Vapor King hasn't given up yet. Just like I said, gets the move done into turn four, and he does have half a lap in P8 until Spud might try and get past again with the DRS. Hasmania 
that's another three second time penalty and we saw some yellow flags at turn three but it cleared up oh and there goes sonny bob he's round no damage but that's gonna well no damage except to uh his overall race yeah that's unfortunate as this train of cars does get past he has to slot in behind the alfatari He's got to come Shammy out James who has spun. He's back on track right now. Spud and Vapor King, they are not done yet. We also see Jay Prentice and Matty Robo behind their fighting cool. Jay Prentice gets touched from behind and touches then Matty Robo in front of him. Spud and Vapor King are still going at it. Vapor King blocks it and Spud hits the back. Jamie keeps his 2.93 second gap to the train behind, but Postman has pulled away, pulls out of the DRS of JSAC, so he doesn't have to worry about defending from behind. He can full focus on closing in that gap with Jamie. Yeah, he, can, uh, he was gaining on Jamie before. He started battling with, uh, well, while he was battling with Sonny Bob. Spud but, does. Uh, Spud holds on to 8 for now. He probably. Uh, is he gonna go for it here? Yes, he is. He does have more speed. He's coming up and he's gonna send it down the inside on his medium tires. These guys are. These guys keep fighting every lap with the DRS. Someone goes past and then the other one gets past again. As we probably and now gonna see. Neither of them have DRS. No, it doesn't look about like it, but. Spot moved to Vapor King does have more speed because of the slipstream, probably. And the, maybe had, DRS. As and he, going yeah, he had, he had his control. overtake on and uh, Spot yeah, wasn't using it. Spot was not so. using it, that's true. But Spot will have a DRS again. And also, J Vapor King is coming. He's getting near to his pit stop window as Spud doesn't have to pit yet. You would think that maybe. Oh, and oh Spud, Spud is loses pitting. it. There we go. Oh, and no. that's the end of his race. And that should be a safety car because he's blocking the pit I lane. I think it should be, but I don't think it will be. We'll have to see. But Rosa goes for the overtake and Cobble into turn 3, gets it done before the braking zone, that's him up into P4 on 11 lap old softs versus 11 lap old softs. And now yeah, he's yeah, looking to get past yeah. JSAC. Has Mania and J-Print is also fighting into turn 3, J-Print senses up the inside and he does get that position. And he does have the DRS to keep pulling away. Yeah, so uh, managed to get ahead before, oh sorry, after the DRS, so into Which the corner. I guess that's what you would try to do, but it's not that easy to do that, to wait for the DRS and then go past. Sonny Bomontiago then. And Connell's petting. Fresh mediums onto the deep. hearts, Connell is in the pits, that's correct. First. Soft, well, first front runner now into the pit. Yep. That's true. Uh, as Mania and Jay Prentice, this seems to be the closest battle on track right now. He does have his teammate as Kelsus right behind him. They're all gonna overtake Connell here. And the, I think that's Sonny Bob who just was causing yellow flags. We see some more I yellow flags. I think here. it was Matt. Oh, it could be true. Uh, Hasmania gets past Jay Prentice and he's gonna dive it down the inside of Matt at the same time and he does get that position done, pushes Matt onto the curb, this let this is gonna let Jay Prentice go through. Yeah, and Matt's he just forming a, a little bit of a moving chicane there for uh, Hasmania. But he managed to uh, secure P7. Mm-hmm. will want to get past Matt E Robo too who's actually also on the medium, so maybe my Robo isn't really on the same tire percentage as the other guys around him. JSAC will be next into the pits on lap 13, I think it was. You might see people pitting around now, 22 laps on the mediums, it should be possible. Certainly should be in uh 
Those no softs will have done a good job Connell. for the Ferrari. Oh, is Connell going to get past his teammate? Yes, he is. He does have more speed. Jay's had coming out of the pits does not have that much speed. Jamie White want to pit this lap, but let's go back to the battle with between these four cars here. Jay Prentice has Mania, Matty Robo and Kelsey Swag all on the Matty Robo actually dropping off the back of Jay Prentice has made Jay Prentice sends down the outside. And he does get that move. No, he does not yet. Get it done. He's gonna keep it around the inside. Sends it side by side through here. As Hasmania seemed to get pushed on the grass, I'm not sure if he actually hit the grass, and there I we think go. he was on the kerb. I think Jeff gave him enough room to be on the kerb. He wants Got to Matt. get past the get- Oh, that's very close together. He might have touched each other. Mighty Robo wants to get past, but he has to hold on. He has Yeah, Kelsey I think Matt just wants to hold on. off there. He has Kelsey Swag right on the back. Kelsey Swag pulls out, but he's not going to get that done because of this DRS train. We do have the Ferrari now slotting in behind this train on fresh mediums. The other Ferrari will also, he's not far behind either. Matt getting close to uh, the McLaren and the Alpha Tower is the, the, uh, the two in front lock wheels. Jay so Francis is the man with mediums. DRS. Connell in his fresh mediums has actually gotten past one of them already. He got past Kelsey Swag. He's tried to send it down the inside of Matty Robo, but he sends it down the inside of Hasmania. So nothing, no change here yet. Just, oh, Connell sends it down the inside of Matty Robo here. That, there you go, fresh mediums has more grip. And now he's looking to get these soft guys there. Only soft for one more as he just goes for it. <laughs> Bullying his way past. Big cojones. Now we're at the outside of Jay Prentice. Uh, yeah, they seem to be pitting both of them. That sends the other guys wide. They want to go around him, so they have to go wider. As well, Jamie actually, actually also pitting. A lot of the guys have pitted. Stay. Vapor King uh, Jay Prentice just, Jamie just did a good job there. Not Jamie. to interrupt, but he, he just, wow. just managed to... I think he placed his car on the kerb, and Matt was able to take the normal line. And, uh, it's now Jason not gets past Kelsey Swag and he slots in behind Matty Robo. Also, Jason on fresh mediums, just like his teammate. He's gonna make. He can't get past Matty Robo because he has the DRS. Because uh, from his teammate, also Jamie beat it for fresh mediums on lap 15 and he came out in P3, so he should be on for the win if nothing happens. And you just think, well, JSAC must be uh, must be thinking, come on, Colin, get a move on. He has so much. He started the race. He has a lot of pace, today. Jamie, but Connell is only two and a half seconds behind, though. Rosa, he loses a grip. He's into the pits now, one lap re after Jamie reacting to it, but Jamie does get the position, and that's going to be like a big gap between them. Both Ferraris are also going to get. Past the gap is seems to be not that. Yeah, that's a pretty big gap if you ask me. Um, okay, let's go back to the Ferraris. Chase that gap past Matt E. Robo. Matt, who now has Kelsey's bike behind, is uh. Both on 16 lap old mediums. Kelsey's bike is struggling to follow through 16 lap old mediums. Uh, dirty air probably DRS train he isn't having the best of times there but he's hanging on keeping it in the DRS window so you can keep enjoying that luxury racer on the back of Rosa only six tenths behind also within that DRS window with Rosa who does not have any DRS so we might see change of positions here Kelsey's wagon, Matty Robo. Oh, Matty dives it into pits. That explains. I, maybe a two stop for the Williams. Uh, maybe. Uh, softs from lap 18 to 36. That seems a bit of a stretch to me. Um, what is that? It's that's about. It's gonna be softs, I think. It is that's softs. About eight, that's 18 more laps he has to do on the soft side. Uh, I don't think. I don't think that's uh, gonna work. No, I don't think it'll work out yet. for him either. I don't think you can do 18 laps on the softs. 
Maybe at Russia, not here. At Russia? Yeah, Russia. Well, in the older games, oh, okay, Russia okay. was uh, very, very good for tire wear. But I was surprised about Austria, though. I thought the tire wear would be much more than it actually was the, the last two days. It's uh, normally, well, normally been a long start, but. Uh, Tiago is actually. Usually that. Usually that one stop involves hard, so... Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> and you don't well, want to touch him. Really. Yeah. But, uh, Diago I... making it work a little bit. Yeah, he, he's making his hard work. He's, he's hanging on the back of Vapor King, staying within that DRS window. As Kelsey Swag loses the position to Rosa on Fresh Medium's racer. Also, Fresh Medium's looking to get past. Yes, he does. And Zidane, the inside, gets it done under braking. That's not... A problem for these guys on the softer tires. Well, fresher tires, I should say. Jamie seems to be losing time to the two Ferraris behind him. They're now on 1.3, is the gap. So, we might seems not be, uh, see Jamie yeah. win this race. These Ferraris are very fast at this track. Postman picks up a three second time PD. He's still on his 19 lap all mediums. 12 seconds clear of the next car, which is Jamie. When yeah, is uh, he pitting? That's a question. I would imagine he might pit around lap 21, 22. Yeah. Strap on Definitely. a set of fresh softs and uh, run away. As these Ferraris try, try actually. Uh, JSAC is just staying behind Connell. I think if he. I think if he doesn't hold off, he could get past Connell, but I don't think they want that. Or he pulls out, they might try, they might do so. Yeah, it looks like Connell get past. left it there. Yeah, to so. let his teammate pass, maybe that's the strategy. Just keep pulling the, just get the DRS of each other, let the one with the DRS go, and then get, try to get closer, slowly but steady, get closer to Jamie. Just Very possibly, and I don't think it's a bad strategy for them. Working the team orders as we have Hasmania and Sonny Bob going side by side. They're still going side by side, and he's gonna send it into that corner. They touch, so Hasmania does go wide, and that's the position there for Sonny the Bob. Into the pit, both man. It's gonna be passed by the top five, it looks like, maybe yeah. six. Rosa's gonna get him, but the gap between him and Rosa is not gonna be that big, and he's on fresh softs. Look at that. He's gonna make. He's gonna overtake Rosa in a few laps, maybe even next lap. I don't think he will do it this lap. Uh, the gap between the Ferraris and the McLaren is still 1.3 seconds, but we do have Boseman on the softs. If he gets past Rosa, he has about... If he does it now, he has... What is that? 20, uh, 15 laps to try and get past the others. Catch up and get past... And he does have a penalty. Let's look at the penalty situation. A lot of people on three seconds. Kelsey Zwag and Thiago on six. Wisey Boy on six. Hasmania and J. Prentice on six. Sonny Bob on nine seconds. So Boseman will have to catch up, get overtaken and pull a three second gap. Good luck with that in 15 laps. Might be doable. I mean, he's only, what, five, six seconds behind? It looks like he can send it, yeah. Yeah, around the outside, Rosa not going to fight that too hard. He knows that's a lost cause because it's not going to mm. keep him behind on those softs for long. As we actually have someone off in the second sector. Who's that? That's Wisey yeah, Boy. Wisey Boy. Yes, it is. Asmania and Sonny Bob are still fighting with each other. There we go. Uh, Asmania gets the position now, but this allows Sonny Bob to have DRS. Doesn't have a lot of ERS left. Not close enough to get it done for now. Rosa seems to just uh, stay within Boseman's DRS window and maybe get pulled back to the front with some help. 
Kelso Swag has spun it into the third sector, the beginning of the third sector. There comes his teammate and the Mercedes. They're gonna get past, no problem. He stays out of the way, not to block them. And he's on his way again. Both man cuts the gap. Matty Robo. So Jay sir. Matty Robo, fresh softs behind Jay Prentice. He wants to get that position, catch up to the guys ahead, and maybe try and get into the points. Yeah, well, he doesn't have any penalties, which is going to be a, a big advantage for him. Oh, yeah, right. Penalty situation. So he actually. The guys ahead should not be that big of a problem then, because if he keeps himself, if he keeps it clean, not get any penalties of his own, as he just sent it down the inside of J Print is, and he does get that move done. J Print is, uh, is he going to fight oh, back? Oh, that's he Connell. Might. That's Connell's Connell round. Off. Yeah, he is, and also we see an Alpine rounder, and that's a VSC. That's Lewis, I believe, who was round. We saw two Alpines and... going round. I saw a racer going slow and wise boy who went round at the start finish straight. Look at this, JSAC is getting held up behind an Alpine without a front wing and he can't overtake because of the VSC and Jamie One is now 5 seconds clear of JSAC. This Alpine really throwing some spanners in the works. As he Jesse. moves to the side, JSAC overtakes, but I don't think he's allowed to do so. Uh, he seems by to be keeping the position. Yeah, by the looks of it, he's not going to be penalized by the game. And now he's back within that 2.3 seconds gap. He has to slow down for the Delta. Oh, as that Alpine tries to get back past, but he's lapped and he doesn't have a front wing so I don't see the point of that you're not gonna gain anything it's VSC and why the boy has gone back past but he's gone back into the pits and race has got a drive through that's not what you want he's in P6 you don't want to oh and Rosa spun on the race there Maybe cold tires, I'm not sure, but that has He's a lot of Vapor King and now. Racer past. Racing serving his drive through. His teammate is getting a front wing change. Um, Boseman on the softs 1.2 is the gap to JSAC. Gap from JSAC to Jamie is 2.6. Boseman might be on for the win here, but he does need to pull a 3 second gap if he gets past Jamie. Vapor King wants to get past Rosa. He's only Rosa Star is only one lap fresher, so that's not going to be a too big of a deal. He can't seem to get past yet. Bozeman now in that DRS window sets the purple second sector. I would imagine he's going to come round and set a uh, purple final sector as well. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised to might even set the fastest lap. No, he does not. And now here we go. Inside the opposite of the DRS has about 50%. Matty Robo has spun. Oh, go. I think he's come together, together with. with... Or oh, no, yeah. together with an Alpine. That might be YZ boy. Yes, it is YZ boy. So they did come together. No, why is he boys lapped? And Boseman I think that was just two separate spins. There we go. Boseman gets past JSAC. Sonny Bob sets the fastest lap with one five flat. And now he's three seconds behind Jamie and ten laps to close the gap, get past and pull a three second gap. It's gonna be close, but if he does it, he could do it. Now pulling a gap to JSAC, already 6 tenths JSAC, 80% ERS, so should be able to stick behind for the next few laps. On the, the softs, he will be trying to get out of that DRS window, but that's not going to be easy with the ERS that 
Jaysak has with Thiago on the back of Jay Prentice on fresh soft, so Jay Prentice is getting overtaken by a lot of people. And he's a uh, nine lap of mediums, only fresh soft behind him for both Mercedes and the Alpha Tauri. So close to turn one, and there he goes. Opens up the DRS, softer tires, 90% ERS, just burn it, get past. There you go, it's going side by side, it's going to send Danny inside, yes it does, gets it done under braking, goes a bit wide and J-Prince goes for the switchback, Thiago having to use ERS to stay ahead, J-Prince is taking it on the grass to get past because he doesn't leave, doesn't get left that much space into turn 3 and pushes Thiago on the gravel and he gets the position. <laughs> Jack Postman has spun. The track. Postman and spun more. on his softs. He's down into P4 now. Lost out to both Ferraris and might lose out to Rosa now, who's right on the back of him. These softs are going to be. Yeah, they're. they're oh so no, Rosa! These softs are just overheating right now. And Rosa. I can't see any damage yeah, by the looks oh. of it, but he might, yeah, he's he's he might have survive. damage. That's oh, very unfortunate think. for the both of them. Boseman who spins might could have been on for the win here. And then Rosa hits him. Thiago still yeah. on the back of Jay Prentice. He had a second spin there and uh Yeah in oh, turn one. He had a sort of half spin and I think he was saved by Rosa on yeah. his inside. Definitely, I think that's just the tires being overheated and he wants to take that corner to just uh, get the gap that he lost to to get back up there, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it now. Uh, Thiago got past Jay Prentice into turn 4 while we were talking about it. Um, Vapor King and Rosa now. Rosa, oh he dives into the pits, probably must have gotten damage from that collision. It's very unfortunate. He could have been. He was on for a good result. Chase at 2.5 seconds uh, uh, behind JB. J Print is back up into ninth. He's gonna get some points, maybe. There's other people also scoring points. Everyone inside the top 10. But who has the fastest lap? Let's see. Sonny Bob, who's inside the top 10. So that's an extra point for him. what happened JB must have done a mistake because he just lost about five tenths uh, in the third sector JSEC now on 1.9 seconds if you can close inside that DRS window then you might be maybe you can get past would him say he's possibly in with a chance yeah if he can get into that window of course he has six laps to do so as Rosa got past Kelsey's wagon to turn four. 1.9 seconds. He close up two tenths on the run up to turn three and then lost it all again going out of turn three. And now again, he seems to be closing in under braking but then losing it on the exit of turn three. Because the uh, turn four, he didn't lose the two tenths he just gained. And now there we go. It's down to 1.4 seconds now. Chase Hag ha does look seems like he has the pace over Jamie, and he will maybe get the win. Five laps to go. Yeah, he's got. He's got younger tyres as Jamie. I just can't understand why two he seems laps. to be losing so much time. Only two laps, so I don't think that's that's not too big of a deal. Only two laps. He does have blue flags now, so maybe if you wait, you might get the RS of that Alpine. And he didn't get the DRS. Um, JSAC now 1.5 seconds still behind. So Jamie seems to have uh, switched back on a little bit. Oh, has he? Johnny Bowman. Yeah. 
Okay. Sonny Bob and Jay Print is now into turn one. Sonny Bob goes wide and gets a lot of three second penalty. I think he's on about, what is it, 15 seconds by now. I'm not too sure. Jay Print just gets him back though. Let's see the penalty situation. Yeah, he's on 15 seconds. Kelsey's back on 12. A lot of penalties here. Connell on 6 seconds, so. He's not. He should keep the podium because Boisman also has 6 seconds, but Chase has now 1.3 seconds. He's closing in he's slowly, but he is. He might not make it before the end of the race, though. But. But he is hunting. That's definitely what he's doing. Only 30% of ERS now. Jamie also on the same amount of ERS. Tiago on for another position looking to get past Racer on his fresh soft Racer on 15 lap old mediums uh, two tens behind now gets not using any ERS and there goes now the speed kicks in he's gonna he's not gonna send it up the inside he's gonna hold on for now there we go as we have Someone spun in the third sector. I think that might be Jamie James. Jay it Prentice. was Jamie James. Jay P Sonny Bob again trying to overtake Jay Prentice but goes wide out of turn three and Jay Prentice gets that position back. As there's another one spun at the. That's YZ Boy. Jay Sack still on 1.3 seconds. I don't think he's gonna close anymore in this race. No, I don't. I think he's going to struggle to get very much closer. And Jamie's still around that 30% ERS. Jacek is trying to burn it. He's around a 20% of ERS. No, oh, Sonny Bob gets a 5 second penalty speeding in the pit lane as he DNFs. Can't get past Jay Prentice, maybe got damaged during that fight. There we go, Thiago sends it down the inside. This time he does, and he gets that position done on his fresh softs. And now the gap to Hasmania, 2.8 seconds. I don't think he's going to get that position, but this Alpine is looking to come back at him. But he can't do it, not yet. Chase are now 1.7 seconds again might have made a mistake somewhere during the lap. I think he's just dropping off. Jamie has started to use ARS now. As we've got, yes, oh, he it's is. Sonny Bob, I think he retired. Jamie. Did Sonny Bob retire in the pits and I missed yeah, it? Yeah, he did. He did yeah. retire in the pits. <laughs> They're both so. almost out of ERS, the two, the top two runners here. I think... Jamie just has the edge, and it's just going to be yes, enough. Yes, he does. Another 25 points on. for McLaren. You love to see it. Certain people love to see it. Yeah. What, what team are you driving for? Unfortunately, there's no Aston Martins here tonight. So. Uh, Aston Martin. Uh, and McLaren's third in the overall constructor, so t another 25 points. Uh, it's looking good. Well, Aston Martin were leading, I'm not sure now. I think Ferrari was leading and then Red Bull in second and with McLaren in third in the overall constructors. Jacek now drops to over two, sec two seconds now with, with the penultimate lap. He's not making it up into that first place. Jamie won. Getting pole position, perfect strategy. Drove almost, almost the whole race into P1. Peter got out. Peter came out in P3, and then smooth sailing from there on out. He's had no one to contend with, really. No, definitely not. He did have at the start. Didn't have to defend too hard, and then once the pit stops kicked in, he Peter earlier than everyone else and he just got a huge gap to the guys behind and that gap has paid off now. JSAC 
came down to 1.3 seconds but couldn't get any closer as we've started the final lap right here right now this means the oh, end of the evening is almost here unfortunately for both men he had his chance and he, he blew it have. if jsec couldn't do it Bozeman might have been able to catch up with Jamie. I don't think he would have pulled a three-second gap, but he might have gotten first on track if he didn't spin. And he would certainly have a podium. That is for sure. Rosa might try to get past the apprentice. Does he pull out? No, he does not. He even closed the DRS. Tiago gets past Hasmania. He did catch up and he did get past. Well done. Rosa now putting his ERS in there, but he's not making it, and we have to go to the front. JSAC now on eight tens behind. I think JB is almost out of fuel, but he does still win the race. I think he just ran out of fuel right there at the end of the race. That's it. Jamie in first and JSAC in second. Wow. Nah, he just wanted to make it close for us. Oh, yeah, that, that, that could also be a possibility. Wow, that's that was a very good race. Come I enjoyed it. Cross the line in there, third. Boastman P4, Vapor King. So sort I've of had a bit of a quiet race, but uh, able to pick up P5 with all the uh, yeah, definitely made a few the overtakes accidents. here and there, but two Alpines crossing the line together. Tiago, who did get past Hasmania on track but loses it again on penalties. Rosa did get past Jay Prentice. We couldn't see that because we saw the leaders crone crossing the line. Matty Robo will be the last one. As there he comes. And that's his race. Also done. Was it me or did I just see a tongue sticking out of his suit? <laughs> I have no idea. What is wrong with this game? A lot. You could say so. Well, another win for the McLaren team. We had another podium on Monday, fourth place yesterday, so we're scoring big this week at McLaren. Ah, uh, is your end of the race, your finishing positions with Jamie takes first, Jacek in second, and Connell rounds off your podium in third, Boseman fourth, fifth for Vapor King, Racer sixth, Hasmania seventh, Thiago eighth, Rosa gets ninth, Jay Prentice tenth, eleventh for Matty Robo, Kelsey Zwag takes twelfth, Jamie James thirteenth, Wisey Boy takes fourteenth, Sonny Bob fifteenth. Spud DNF'd and gets 16th and then Dan Robo also DNF'd and gets 17th. So, would you mind inviting our top 3 or will I have to? I'll go do it. Oh yeah, thank you very much. So it was Jamie, Jacek and Connell, yeah? Uh, yeah, if I'm not wrong, it is, yeah. A Ferrari, two Ferraris on the podium, they're also scoring big, especially today. McLaren here on screen. There we go. So it's Connell, J second Jamie. Okay. I hope I got that right. I hope so too. 
That's one. And that's two. Both of Ferraris are in. I don't know if Jamie's coming, but we could start the interview already with our third place, which is Connell. Good evening. Good evening. How are things? Uh, good. We enjoyed the race, definitely. I hope you guys did as well. Um, yeah, you did have. You seemed to have a good race, but then picked up some penalties. Let Jsac, uh, your teammate, go by. Seemed to be faster than you, and then taken home third and second. Just talk us through the race and the strategy. Yeah, um, I actually had a race here yesterday for League of Ireland, the, the league I fucking help run. So I kind of knew what the race would be like. A um, little bit different to what it was yesterday. Um, I was constantly fighting people yesterday. I, I never had clean air, so a bit different. But um, yeah, um, I tweaked a few things with my setup. Uh, but it seemed to destroy my tires. Um, I was like in the high 70s when I was crossing the line there. So, uh, but yeah, like um, soft, medium, easy enough to do. Um, both man spun, but I was quite confident in the later stage of the race. If we were close together, myself and JSAC, we would have the upper hand because the softs are terrible near the end of this race if you do a medium soft. Um, but that's what we, that's what I found anyway. But. Um, yeah, I had that. I had a big spin there coming off the second sector. Um, I hit the curb, and it just took my front wheel and into the wall. I got uh, rear wing damage as well, so it wasn't great. But uh, I couldn't really push for the last few laps, so I was just like, "Look, uh, both man spun," and I think him and Raza had some contact in the first corner. I saw some yellow flags, so um, I was like, "The gap is seven seconds or whatever." So for the last, I would think five or six laps, I didn't give. A toss, so I just let that gap come down, 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 and I knew if I did get nine seconds of pens, I would have enough in the tank probably to push to get that three second gap. But I ended up having the three second gap at the end. But yeah, JSAC definitely the faster man today on the track. Um, have to tip my hat off to him. It's been usually I'm the quicker car, but like he was in a different level today, and he's actually injured as well, so he probably would have been quicker if he wasn't as injured as he is. But uh. But yeah, it was a good race. Good race. Happy to get the three two, the two three, whatever. But like me, um, me and Jason like, haven't been up in this uh, country box together in a while, so it's good to be back up here. But yeah, it was a, it was a good race. A bit boring near the end, but um, constantly on my toes with that uh, damage at the rear because uh, I could feel the car in the last sector going, and so I had to kind of keep it in seventh or eighth gear sometimes going through the second and second last corner. So, but yeah, it was a bit bit a uh, bit of a struggle at the end, but it was a good race overall. Yeah, thanks for that insight. And Blades, do you want to <laughs> add anything? Okay, I, I don't think he's here. Well, Monaco next week. What do you think of that? Um, so I don't think I will be here because uh, it's my 21st next week. So I think I will be either unconscious or not in any <laughs> sort of medical state to race. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I, I could be here, but uh, I don't know. If I will, but if I am on, I'll definitely do Monaco. Yeah, Monaco is just uh, a pain in the ass. It's um, quality can be decent, but just the race is just uh, it's like uh, driving through hell for nearly forty-five minutes. But yeah, I, I, I mightn't be here, but uh, if I'm anyway stable or conscious, I should be able to race. But yeah, Monaco is Monaco, I suppose. Yeah, I'd say don't do drunk driving, but it's a video yeah. game, so it's a video it could be game. In my, it could be in my system still, so I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's move on. Well, congratulations on your podium, actually. P2. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Let's move on to JSAC. Gets P2 in the other Ferrari. I mean, you must be very happy with the result today, second and third. Just talk us through your race. It actually was pretty nice. Uh, I just saw in the chat that Jamie didn't have fuel in the last 10 laps and for like three laps before the end I aborted uh, pushing and I'm like, this, uh, yeah, this could have been it because he didn't have fuel in the last lap. So I think I made a mistake there, mixed feelings. Um, I had a good qualifying finally. I could just hook a lap. Uh, at first I didn't even try you know, to push and I was invalidating. Still got P2, started not so well again, dropped to P4, 
But uh, yeah, I definitely had faith and uh, I didn't have any problems with anyone. You know, clean racing, I played it really strategic today, not giving fights that I should not. So yeah, Boastman just gifted us second place and we can thank him for that. So it's a great, great day for the team today. Lovely. It's, uh, it's really nice to hear that. Well, yeah, actually at the end there, you did come be in like 1.3 seconds was the closest you got. And then no. on the last no. lap, I see like eight tenths, seven tenths. And then I think that Jamie ran out of fuel, but he did still manage to get P1. Like, exactly. You think you think you could have got him if if some things maybe went differently during the race? Uh, I think if Jamie did exactly the same what as he did, um, like uh, three or four laps before the end of the race, when the the gap stabilized, I said to Connell that I'm aborting, uh, pushing, I'm stop because uh, so, the tires are gone. But I could have pushed a little bit more of these four tenths. There, there, there might be uh, there in the last four laps, and I just missed the chance. Okay, um, are you gonna are you gonna show up next week at Monaco, or are you gonna skip that one? <laughs> well, maybe I'll skip that. As Connell said, it's also my twenty first. <laughs> so. <laughs> This is gonna be fun. We're just gonna in party and enjoy this double podium that we got. It, today was excellent teamwork. Excellent. Yeah, we saw that here in the commentary booth. Teamwork was great. Congratulations on your second and third. I don't think Jamie has joined, so that will be the end of this stream. I thank you all for watching and come back next week on Wednesday again at 9 p.m. Tonight we have AM1, I think it is, at 3 a.m. UK time. And at 9 p.m. tomorrow we, we will have EU1 on this channel.